Adiabatic compression of a gas. Consider a monatomic ideal gas, which is thermally insulated. Suppose that starting at a temperature of 400 Kelvin and at a pressure of 1 atmosphere, the gas is slowly compressed to one third of its original volume. What is the final pressure? What is the final temperature? So first of all, uh, the fact that it's a monatomic ideal gas uh, is telling me its Cv is equal to 3 over 2R, Cp is equal to 5 over 2R. Thermally insulated is telling me the heat absorbed by the gas is zero, adiabatic process, and the fact that it's adiabatic, I have PV to gamma is a constant, or TV to gamma minus one is a constant. So this is what I'm reading from the problem statement. Okay, so let's start with remembering for monatomic ideal gas, I have uh, using the equipartition theorem only the kinetic energy of the translational kinetic energy of the center of mass giving me a mean energy of the gas 3 over 2 nu rt nu is the number of moles r is the universal gas constant the molar specific heat at constant volume is 1 over the number of moles del e bar del t and at constant volume and this is going to be equal to 3 over 2 R and Cp minus Cv is always equal to R so Cp a molar specific heat at constant pressure is equal to 5 over 2 R and gamma the ratio of Cp to Cv is therefore 5 divided by 3 and because it's an adiabatic process we have uh, PV to gamma is a constant so now to answer part A of the uh, problem I have P initial V initial to gamma is equal to P final V final to gamma so if I want to calculate the final pressure it is P initial multiplied with V initial divided by V final to gamma now, I'm told that V final is one third of the original volume, V initial over 3. So this is going to be P initial. P initial is one atmosphere. So one atmosphere multiplied with V initial divided by V initial over 3 to the power 5 over 3. So it is 3 to the power 5 over 3, which is... 6.24 atmosphere so that will be the final pressure of the gas and part b i can do this in two different ways i can use tv to gamma minus one is a constant or i can use the ideal gas law because it's an ideal gas uh, so since it's an ideal gas i have p initial v initial is number of moles universal gas constant initial temperature p final v final nu r t final so if i take the ratio of these two equations i find that p initial v initial divided by p final v final is t initial divided by t final therefore the final temperature can be calculated as initial temperature multiplied with P final V final divided by P initial V initial. So if I substitute the numbers here, this is 400 Kelvin initial temperature. Final pressure is 6.24 atmospheres. Final volume is one third of the initial volume. Then I have initial pressure is one atmosphere. Initial volume is V initial. The V initials will uh, cancel. So I will find that it is 400 times 6.24 uh, divided by 3, which is 400 times 2.08. So therefore, the final temperature is 832 Kelvin.
so I'm working on a monatomic ideal gas, monatomic CP 5 over 2R, CV 3 over 2R, molar specific heats at constant pressure and volume. Gamma, the ratio is 5 over 3. Because the, because the uh, gas is thermally insulated, this is telling me it is, uh, it, the process has Q is equal to 0, adiabatic process. So uh, I used PV to gamma equals to a constant to obtain a pressure of 6.24 atmospheres. And then I could use TV to gamma minus 1 as a constant, or I can use the ideal gas law alternatively. Uh, and I find that from the ratio of pressure volume products, uh, the final temperature can be calculated as 832 Kelvin.